A very warm welcome to Oxpoon, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Rudolf. Hello and a warm welcome. Today is all about roughness. What is roughness exactly? I don't mean the rough guys who go to sea or in the wild west, but it is all about materials. Why do we have to know how rough a material is? Or how not rough it is, or how smooth it is. That is normally obvious. Imagine in winter when you slip up, you go down steep steps, it should not be smooth. Or a shower when it is wet, it shouldn't be slippery. The surface should be rough, that you don't slip up. On the contrary, when you have a bearing, imagine inside of your motor in your car there are bearings in it, where the crankshaft runs or the camshaft and they have to be very smooth. So more plain they are, so less friction you become. And the less friction you have, the better the motor runs. Easily and so forth. That is one of the reasons, but there are others. So let us consider roughness. Roughness is basically, from the definition, not so easy. I have brought some corrugated cardboard with me. The hitch is that by most things like this the roughness is more or less grooves. Normally you should have horizontal or vertical grooves and different heights. That's what materials look like, but here we can see it is pretty rough. Even if it falls out of the definition area, we have other things here. I have brought other things with me, for example a magnifying glass, a so-called quick disc. With this you can, when you go over it, make sounds. Why? Because there are grooves in it. Grooves are a special form of roughness. Now when we look at this foil, it is not a magnifying foil, but a ventricular foil, with which you can make 3D pictures. Listen to this. And now again. You can hear by the tone height the difference in how many grooves pro length unit there are. And now listen to it with my telephone. There's nothing. Why? Because this surface has a minor roughness. Very, very smooth. That is what we need in many areas of the technique and what we need to measure. We have to make sure that the surface that correspond to requirements, as I said, for example, a bearing or similar. And with your finger, okay, this measuring form is as well. I can measure this with my finger, recognize. But here, barely. And here I can't feel anything. It is for me just smooth. We need devices, devices which are incorruptible and reproducible, which can determine the roughness of a surface and such measuring devices I have had a look at. The PCE RT11 I have here on my table. Let's have a look at it. It is small and handy, even though it is a high quality measuring device. We have at the top a USB interface, which is used to load it, and a start button. On the back there is a table for setting and for my own thoughts on what parameter I should use. I can start the device and after a short time the OLED is on. That's what is set before. RA on Alta is set on 1 and not micrometer. Battery is obvious, so now it is ready to test. I can naturally change the parameters, what I want to measure or what I want displayed more or less. Now I can lay it on after I've moved this flap and open the sensitive sensor and there the sensor comes out. There's the diamond tip with a diameter of 10 micrometer and that I can see at the front where it scans. Between these two arrows, it is scanned. 
Now I put it on here, start the start button, then it takes 6 seconds. It goes along this measuring area and reads the measured results and sorts to say the bumpiness of the probe. And when it is finished, it will show the results. As you can see, it has beeped and we can see that we have a roughness after air air of 2.16 micrometer. And as you can see, what for our eyes looks all, almost exact. For the device, there are differences. I will take my hands away from the table because the vibrations make the measuring results false. And there we are by the next theme. This sort of device should be tested now and then. It can itself recalibrate and it can be recalibrated. So now it is finished. And as we can see here, there is a clear difference. This piece of paper, which looks similar, has only a roughness of 0.42 micrometer. So this is delivered with it. This is the calibration probe. That is this piece. You should try not to touch it and not polish or whatever. And on its stands, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, what the device should show. 1.57 micrometer when you're standing on it. And when not, you can recalibrate it. Very simply with the arrows in the calibrate mode and then you calibrate. A device with which you can very simply and very quickly and very precise measure to see how the roughness of a surface is. Do you know what a nanometer is? A millimeter is a thousand of a meter. A micrometer is a thousand of a millimeter. And a nanometer is another thousand of that. That is the resolution of this PC RT 1200 makes. Measuring can. Here's a touch tip with a diamond tip. It has a diameter of 5 micrometer and this touch tip is driven over the probe. Normally there is this protective cover with it. It is screwed into here. Not normally, it is always with it. So that this high quality touch tip isn't damaged when you are a little careless. I take it off deliberately. Please do not take yours off or it may break. Just so that you can see how it moves and works. So after I have set all the parameters using the clear keys and menus, I can simply put it down here and start it. And it takes a moment. As you can see the touch tip is driven out. We measure here AR, ZT and also P surface roughness. So and now it is almost finished with its measuring. It shows soon the or those results. Naturally I can scroll through the display. And now you can see that is the roughness of the surface of this probe. Naturally you have the possibility with this probe head to go into holes or boreholes or on uneven surfaces to measure. But when wanted to measure the packaging of this probe head, so put on it doesn't work obviously. We have here at the side a scale, it tells me if I have the right distance from the probe which I want to measure and on this side there is an adjustable foot. When I put it onto it and then pull down the adjustable foot so I can exactly see when I am right, when is the probe head right and then screw it back up tight and then wobble free start. Now we have here naturally the possibility to recalibrate. It is calibrated, it comes calibrated. On here is that normal inside, a test norm with a value of air 2.24 micrometers. When you have tested it and have a difference, then you can calibrate it. And that's all.
So a high precise measuring device, with this you can in the area of 10 micrometer with a resolution of 1 nanometer measure. I have here the roughness measurer PC AT 2200, a multi-talent 14 parameters it takes from the probe, saves them, can send them or print them, can show them on a computer on or on its own display. We can see on the device on the side we have connections, on this side you can attach an adjustable shoe for when you have pros with different heights. It is then screwed on, and here comes the touch head into it, the sensor. When I take it out of its packaging, it is very well protected. It is a diamond with 5 micrometer. It is put into here, it has two side guidances. It is pretty simple, you shouldn't touch it at the front, but if possible, only at the back. So and now normally the protection for the sensor comes on, but I don't want to screw it on so that you can see better what the sensor does. So that's it really. The device has a built-in battery which I loaded beforehand. I'll turn the device on and as you can see on the display easy to read and it tested itself. And now it is in the measuring area. I can naturally put different parameters into it. They are shown at the top. Top left RR, next to it is Lambda, and there I have different possibilities. Battery symbol is clear, in the middle stands 0 0.00 micrometer, and at the bottom also filter, which I can choose. So now we have something else. The touch head has to have a certain distance to the probe, and when the touch head is bent or the probe has a different height, I have to set it right. For this we have on the side a foot to screw onto, and with this I have the possibility different heights to compensate. That means I can change the angle too, for that is important I will show you now. Down here I have a key, when I push it, I become a scale shown. On a scale the arrow is at the bottom that is normal, I have it in the air. When I go onto a surface like a piece of paper, then you can see the arrows is over the north. And when I pick it up on the one side a little, when it wanders to north, and that I can do with the foot which I have shown you, and only then I become good results. When I take something higher, like this here, that is by the way the calibrating probe, and put the device onto it, so it doesn't work at all. That I can compensate with the foot so that the arrow is in the middle, where of course this is optimal set when I do a measurement. I will go back to the paper, that is ok. Now I'd like to measure. I start the measurement and it takes naturally a moment until a scan is complete. You can see how the head goes in very fine steps over the probe and when it is finished I become the result straight away. And this result, there it is, what I can see, I can save it by simply pushing this disk symbol. And then it is in the memory. I can naturally call up the values again and I get all parameters shown, as you can see there are all 14 there. What I promised at the beginning. I can also print them and then the menu say which are to be printed. And I also have the possibility to see it graphically, in a curve, so a universal device with which you can on site very precisely high exact measurements make, which can be seen directly and evaluated off of later save and sent to a computer.
three devices to measure the technical roughness I have built up in front of me. For one, the PC RT11, a device which is very handy, precise, which like all others comes in a case with power supply cable and connection cable with user manual and calibrate norm a very practical device which you could maybe carry in your trouser pocket when you don't have anything else in them the next device is the PC RT1200 a device which is also mobile with an extreme high exactness in the area of 10 micrometer it can show 1 nanometer lots of possibilities for the settings and it is very flexible with which it is possible to measure many different surfaces and the height can be adjusted with a foot also by the last device that is the PC RT 2200 that would also be adjusted using a foot you have also here a level with which it can be read if the head is properly adjusted and the device can up to 14 parameters in one measuring step, save, record and show graphically. So, and now you could ask, what do you need for your usage? Because the measuring of roughness of surfaces belongs in a technique without, doesn't work anymore. I think the article wasn't too rough for you, but went pretty smoothly. I hope I can show you soon something new. And, bye.